Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Sorry, just sitting down on my chair here. I am here to share with you my pre-order haul from this brand new catalogue coming on the 5th of September till the 2nd of January 2019. Crazy, crazy, crazy saying 2019. But anyway, so this is the 2018 holiday catalogue. And because I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I have already been able to order. Hey, Lori, thanks for popping in. I'm going to have heaps of people popping in. I've had one of my girlfriends do a Periscope video and she has invited them all to come and follow me. So thank you to everyone popping in. Um, so this is the holiday catalogue. This is all I can show you at the moment for legal reasons. I cannot show you the inside of the page, uh, the inside of the catalogue, not the page. Um, hey Kimberly, hey Dee, hey Rose. Um, so this is all I can show you, but I do want to compare how similar the cover is to our annual catalogue sorry mine's a bit beat up so they are very similar so we've got a theme happening so i can't wait to see what the other catalogues are as well but we're not talking about the annual catalogue we are squarely talking about the holiday catalogue so i bought some bits and pieces i didn't buy everything i loved because I will be crafting 24-7 if I bought everything I loved. And I do have a family to look after. So, you know, I suppose I better do some things for them. So let's put the catalogue cover away. Hey, Bev. Um, who else has popped in? Yes, I think I have done that. So I'm sort of kind of going in order here. So this is the first bundle that I bought and this is the Merry Christmas bundle. Now this is a photopolymer set. So all the stamps are clear and you can see where you're stamping them. So I love fonts. I love sentiments, especially with my holiday cards. I love having sentiments ready to go and all these sentiments as a stamp set work together really, really, really well. But when you add the Merry Christmas Thinlets dice, they just come to life. So we have Christmas, holidays, merry and happy. I probably won't use the holidays, but I will use the Christmas merry and happy. And I love these um, ticket dies. Now these go with... Uh, yes, it goes with the outside and the inside of this label. So these labels remind me of the tickets. Once upon a time, we used to have the punch. So that reminds me of that, which I like. Hey, Angela. Hey, Cheryl. How are you? Oh, I'm glad you can watch this as well. Angela's a very, very, very old friend of mine. If she's still around, we've known each other since we were little kids. Our mums actually went to school together. Long story there. <laughs> Let's see if I can get these. I don't store mine in here. I store them on magnetic sheets and I will transfer all of those later. Now, I bought this Detail Dear Thinlets die. Now, didn't buy the stamp set to go with it because I didn't feel I could get the versatility out of it because majority of the stamps in there are silhouette stamps and all these four reindeer dies are silhouettes. So I've just decided to buy the dies. So these three go with the stamps and this leaping D, which is my favourite. Reminds me of an old stamp set we used to have. Oh, we have been interrupted, apparently. 
Let me check my internet here. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me change internets. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, we're still good. Thank you, Bobby. I just changed internet. That's fine. Sorry, guys, for that pause. I was just changing Wi-Fi networks. Yes, we do live in a technological house. So, yes. So, love all the dyes. Also, love all the little bits to add some pizzazz. So, I got that one. But the stamp set's available. It's available in the bundle. Anything that I show that has a stamp set and a punch or a die set is available as a bundle and in Australia all the bundles are 10% off. So I sort of have a thing for Christmas decorations and my customers who come to my classes love colouring. So I bought the beautiful bauble set. I love the baubles and there is something in this Simlet's die that makes this stamp here fantabulous. And it's going to make my classes in particular so very simple. Ooh. Okay, this has different things in it. So this Thinlet's die here cuts all these decorations out in one pass, which I love. And I absolutely love this one. I sort of want to put foil paper or something under this Thinlet's die. And look at these. So pretty. Makes me not regret buying some things in the annual catalogue. And I love this drop beautiful looking forward to playing with this and I also like the sentiments in here nice simple sentiments nothing too fancy I like to keep it fairly simple hello Belinda guys please give a shout out to Belinda she used to be one of my downlines and she now lives in Texas with her family Okay, right. I can't get these back in. I was very good and had it all organised. Okay, I'm going to change tact and show you something a bit different. No, I'll show you these ones first. In the catalogue, we have these silver foil edged cards and envelopes in gold and in silver. Now I have, please tell me I pre-opened these. Yes, I did. Let's see if they'll open. Oh, I pre-opened them but didn't open them, open them. Ugh, right. Okay, so we have the beautiful envelopes. that. So they're plain on the front. And they have the silver foil edge on the back. Gorgeous. They're actually nice and lightweight, which will make... Make... Um, putting in a bulky card a little bit easier now are these pre-scored yes these are pre-scored and you've got this beautiful silver edge and the same for the gold ones love it these are going to make be fantastic in my stamper stack classes because you add a bit of paper like pattern paper you add a sentiment or a deer or a bauble and your card is done so I'm looking for ideas especially for my customers how to make quick simple cards and make their crafting uh, very easy now I apologize if you guys can hear a vacuum cleaner behind my closed door I do have my cleaner here she's already pre-cleaned in here so I could do this video the next thing I have is actually the memories and more kit now this is an empty box nothing to be seen because i've opened it all for you now this is the santa's workshop memories and more card pack now i the same as the other card pack well same same but different so you get smaller cards 
Now these are pre-scored white on the inside, red on the outside. You get matching envelopes and you get the larger cards. So these larger cards are for the three by six and these are for the, no, four by six. And these are by the, for the three by fours. No, I'm getting, I'm butchering my sizings here, but you get it. These are for the smaller cards. These are for the larger cards. So my boys do like making Christmas cards and we make cards for teachers and in previous years when they were in lower grades, in when they were in primary school in Australia, which is a bit like your elementary school in the US. Hey Deb. Um, you, I made for a gazillion and one teachers. High school's a bit different. They're only giving to their, um, to their favorite teachers. So these are the Memories and More cards that come with it. So you've got some really, really cute, oh, look at that ho, ho, ho card. I'm not into the, to the snow because it doesn't snow here. We have blazing hot Christmases, Winter Wonderland. What's on the other side of that? Oh, cute candy cane hearts. So these can be used with your, oh my God, look at that. It's an elf thing. Or with the cute elf on the other side. Um, so these can be used in Memories and More for your memory keeping, but I have bought them so the boys can make very simple Christmas cards. Hey Sharon, thanks for joining. Santa's on his way. Merry and bright, look at that, so retro. I love it. I may even steal some of these for my last minute Christmas cards. But I have been very prepared with my Christmas crafting because Denise and I are part of the Christmas Stampathon Challenge. And we have been getting our Christmas on since the end of January. And I have a nice little stash of cards here ready to go. So I'll feel a bit more prepared come Christmas time. Oh, tree time. Like that. Sorry, guys. Tree time. And then you've got Jingle Bells, the, the Christmas carols. December memories. These, oh, look at that candy cane, cute. December, Santa and his sleigh. And these um, elves and Santas are also in a stamp set that I did not purchase because, as I said, I cannot get everything. And you've got all nice holly, a beautiful joy. Oh, just a nice uh, filler card on the inside and also if you're putting a note in with these are great for writing a note or turning these into a tag especially this one this will make a great tag I might earmark some of these before the boys get their hands in them and make some and have some Christmas tags ready to go there you go saves me a job I'm sorry Cheryl, I'm a very good enabler, I really am and I want you to be able to see because the holiday catalogue, all our catalogues only show so much. So you've got a Christmas tree, oh you get three of those, someone threw in an extra, yay me. Okay, so I've got those and then we've got, so these are definitely the 3 by 4 cards, these are the big mummers. I love this Santa. Can you imagine writing a Santa's list on it? So cute. And then you've got Merry Christmas. Oh, Santa and his elves. This just reminds me of like cartoons when I was a kid, like all the American cartoons we got. But this is really retro. The most wonderful time of the year. And we've got nice. Oh, this will make a nice tag too for a big present. Okay, Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, look at that. All the elves and their gifts. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, dear Santa for their Santa list. 
my boys, even though they're 14 and nearly 13, they um, they still do do a Santa photo for me, which is awesome. My youngest hasn't officially told me about he doesn't believe, but that's okay. We still go. So these might be great for when they go for their Santa photos. Um, I might even photocopy them onto like our cardstock and they can give their list to Santa. Hello, Miss Yvette. Long time no see. I hope your girl's feeling okay after her incident at AFL on the weekend. Even though this has snowflakes in it, I love this believe. Ooh, I like the bows too. Now, these packs also come with some stickers and some specialty cards. So these are stickers for ooh, the whole month of December. So you could quite easily do a December daily straight out of this kit with your memories and more. And you've got a marker for each page. So just stick it on, do your journaling, add some photos. And then you've got... These stickers, holiday tradition, baking goodies, gingerbread house. Don't know if I'll do a gingerbread house this year. Then you've got some word stickers, some flags. Oh my God, this is so cute. <gasps> this has chunky glitter on it. Look at Mrs. Claus, she's so sweet. Santa hats, oh my God. So these are just borders. I love that you get multiples. This is official seal of the North Pole. That might be good on the boys' Christmas gifts. Oh, these are adorable. Yes, in the cards, there's two each of each design. So you can go the front or the back. That's why I was showing you both sides. And in the sticker sheets, you're getting a sheet of everything, but you're getting multiples on the sticker sheets that's correct thanks denise now these are the specialty cards and you only get one each of each card look at that that's gorgeous also all the snow <laughs> an elf man instead of a snowman oh, nice candy cane stripe oh, i'll put the star on the tree and oh, a great polka dot. You could use that for anything. Oh, and a traditional ho, ho, ho Santa. So that is the Memories and More kit. Now that's, sorry for taking up so much of your time there. Hey, Linda, thanks for joining. And for anyone who is watching, I will be popping this up on my YouTube. So the people I'm saying hello to were actually joined me in my Facebook Live. Oh my God, I now have glitter everywhere. But that's a nice thing about crafting and especially about Christmas. You get glitter everywhere. Okay, changing tact. I have a tool. This is called the Pick Me Tool. I do happen to own another brand's one um but i like our one better so it just comes to, oh sorry take your pick and it comes in this great box so i will store the excess bits and bobs in the box i was able to see my um uplines one she was um she worked hard enough to i was going to say fortunate enough to earn the um incentive trip which was just to Alaska. Um, but no, she worked very hard for that trip. So basically what it is, it's a tool. So that, oh my dear word, hold on. Let me lock that in. This doesn't want to lock. I know there is a lock. There we go. Right, oh, that's got a nice suction on it. So in this tip, if we very slowly roll it in there is blue blue tack in there and you've just you do not want to like screw it all the way down um and for those of you that are wondering yes i have changed my nails back and those of you who know australian chocolate this is cabri cabri purple okay 
Okay, so I'm just trying to screw this up. There we go. Hang on. Reverse. Reverse. So now I just have this little blue tack end. And this is great for picking up sequins. And sequins, if you want to pick up rubbish with it or your little rubbish from... Um, from die cutting that'll also work um but yeah it's just blue tack once this gets not not tacky anymore you can just use your finger pick the end off and screw it in again and you can get some um new stuff the only way i can describe it is blue tack so yeah so that's that end and you've got the cap cap to keep the um all the dust and dirt off it so it gets less sticky not as quickly my words weren't working then then this end we have a couple of options for tools we have the spatula and here we have an open and a close so I'm going to take it out so you just twist it uh, to your right to unlock it and we have a spatula and we have a paper piercing tool. So what you do, you've just got some lines here. Let's see if Ellen can do it. Line it up and then you turn it to your right and lock it in. The other attachment that we have is the small and the large stylus. So you've actually got five, five applications in one tool which I like. Thank you for that comment on my nails, Linda. I do like to have pretty nails, besides the fact when they are natural, they always break below the white part of my nail and they hurt. So that is why I always have nails. Okay. So this is the take your pick tool. It will be sitting off to the side here. Although I will put it away for the moment. It will be sitting off to the side in my tool caddy. So that is a great addition. And I do hope that it does um, carry over into the occasions catalogue. And then into the annual catalogue next year. Okay. Denise was playing with something before. She was playing with the galvanised paper. The galvanised paper will not be available in Australia um, due to a customs issue. We have very strict customs laws. So if any of you have seen the American demonstrators unboxings, we will not have the galvanized paper. Uh, we will be promoting the uh, silver foil paper, but I think I have a way to make the silver foil paper galvanized. And I love this tin tile dynamic um embossing folder so this may give you a better look at it and um it just reminds me of like pressed tin in houses and it's just so elegant and i can use it for so many things now sort of along the lines to replicate this galvanizing now the galvanized paper is shown in the example in the australian catalog on page 46 but it's not actually in the items available so we have bought back the shimmer paint now we have four colors available we have bright copper champagne frost white and gold i decided to get the champagne mist and the frost white so i'm planning on using the frost white and some of my ink colors um, to replicate the look of the galvanized paper so stay tuned and i will hopefully um hopefully be able to share that another thing about these inks is that they're an all-purpose ink and they can be used on any porous surface paper wood leather and many other now if you are using this on fabric you need to heat set it with an iron i think it says heat uh, iron fabric designs to cure the ink so we have a uh, little calico bags that this ink can be used on 
in the catalog so a great new addition because the company that produces this did pull the line a number of years ago so we were no longer able to um to keep these in our Stampin' Up! line, but apparently they've bought them back, which is great. Now, I did buy one bundle and one bundle only, including paper and almost all the trimmings, and it is, I'll bring it all in in one look, it's the Peaceful Noel Sweep. So I have bought almost everything except for one of the embellishments. So this is the stamp set. I love the fonts and I really, really like all these uh, flora pieces. So you can create wreaths, you can create clusters and you've got the shadow and you've got the detailed stamp. So this is really versatile and it is so versatile. Um, that it can go beyond Christmas and just be in your stash to create florals and then you can use the sentiments for Christmas cards and they're fantastic sentiments. I really like the scripty font um, and I always like to have a Noel, a friend of mine um, who's also a customer, um, speaks French and... I always like to have a Noel for her. I don't know why. It's something that I've always liked to have. And it is also a photopolymer set. I actually think all the stamp sets that I got are photopolymer. There you go. I don't mind either way, but a photopolymer set is great. So the other things that go with the set so this peaceful noel also bundles with the sprig aka the reindeer is punch so i can see making reindeers i've already seen them on facebook but it is also a great sprig to um, incorporate with these florals now we have three colors and did I open this? No, I did not. The one thing I did not open. Let me grab my scissors here. Don't stab the paper. So, Denise, how much different did you buy to me? I think you bought more. Okay. So we have the copper, and then we have the red, and then we have the green. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I have only a few minutes left because I just realized we have to go pick up our gorgeous guide dog from the dog groomer. So this is Mary Merlot. Uh, ribbon now for those of you wondering Mary Merlot is one of our new colors and it sits in the neutrals and that is the Mary Merlot ink pad which features in this paper and then on the other side you have copper so gorgeous gorgeous ribbon which I'm looking forward to using I think I went more sophisticated this year I do love all the cutesy sets. Now this is called the Joyous Noel Specialty Designer Series Paper. Now it's specialty because we have lots of pages that are copper. So, and I'm pretty sure that the color is shaded spruce. So we have this, have this lovely yes we do have snowflakes they're unavoidable snowflakes on both sides but that's quite a generic pattern i don't mind red snowflakes <gasps> i love this one these are teeny tiny reindeer with teeny tiny stars they are so cute so that'll go very nicely with my uh, reindeer thinlets so i'm looking forward to using those together oh my paper's having an avalanche beside me. 
We've got these two. We've got nice vine. I like how they're sized very nicely for card making. So that is pretty much my haul. Ah, rightio, fair enough, Denise. So I'm looking forward to making some things with some cards and all manner of other things because I haven't had many Christmas things carry over from the um, main catalogue um, in my stash. So I'm glad to get an injection of uh, paper and dies and stamp sets so now i can really look forward oh there is one last thing i did not share with you and i will be super quick this is not christmas related but it is thanksgiving holiday related and this is the frosted floral specialty paper now this is specialty paper because and I didn't get stamp set because I got the Joyous Noel stamp set instead. This is printed on shimmer paper. So you get the beautiful sheen. Now I don't know. Oh, look at that Blackberry. Blackberry Bliss or Frosted Grape? Let me have a quick look here at the back. Blackberry Bliss. Oh, these are gorgeous. So you've got that nice sprig, a bit more muted colours. Oh, these are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'll make some non-holiday cards with these uh, just to break things up during the holiday catalogue. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging with me for the holiday catalog i the holiday catalog haul um i am expecting this is my one and only copy and i'm expecting my order of catalogs to arrive today so when they've arrived i will start getting them out to customers who've bought uh, probably in the last six months from me you will get one of these in the catalogue i am also having a holiday catalogue launch in september it is in my events here on my page i think it's on the third sunday in september here at my house so i always do um gifts and like oh you'll have a goodie bag um, you make projects, we go through the catalogue and I love hearing everyone else's opinion of what they want and how they'll use it. It also gives me ideas but I love to hear what my um, customers and friends are going to do with the products. So if I can do anything to help you, please just put a comment in this video and I will get back to you. If you don't already like and follow either myself here or myself at YouTube, please do that so you can keep up to date with everything that I'm doing. Thanks so much for joining me and I will catch you guys later. Bye.